In this example, we want to write a system of equations uh, that we can use to find the coefficients uh, a, b, and c uh, of the formula of the parabola that passes through uh, the following three points. Uh, so the coordinates uh, for those three points are minus 2 and minus 3, uh, 1 and 12, and then 4 and uh, 45. Um, so because uh, we have three unknowns that we're solving for uh, in this uh, example, a, b, and c, uh, that means that our system of equations is going to be required to uh, contain three equations uh, in order to uniquely solve for uh, these three unknowns. So to start this problem, um, let's recall what the formula for a parabola uh, is going to look like. And so um, recall that um, the formula for a parabola uh, just written in general form, uh, uh, is uh, of this type, ax squared plus bx plus c. So um, here are the three uh, coefficients uh, in the formula that we want to find. Uh, the leading coefficient a, and the second coefficient b, and um, this constant coefficient c. All right, so to make use of the information that we're given in the problem, that is the coordinates for these three points, um, if this um, uh, formula is going to match these three points, that means then that uh, when we substitute uh, any of these three x-coordinates in the three points into the formula, we've got to get uh, the correct matching uh, y-coordinate. So, for example, uh, if I uh, calculate f of uh, minus 2, uh, and this formula matches this uh, parabola, then the matching uh, y-value uh, has to turn out to be uh, minus 3, uh, because um, this parabola has to pass through this point. Now, if we actually take the uh, minus 2 and substitute it into our uh, formula, uh, uh, where we just use, are using the variables uh, a, b, and c for the three coefficients, we end up here with um, a times uh, minus 2 uh, squared uh, plus b times uh, minus 2 and then plus c. And see, notice that gives us an equation now uh, containing the unknowns um, uh, a, b, and c. So we know that uh, a times minus 2 squared plus b times minus 2 plus c, that has to be equal to uh, minus 3. So if we repeat uh, the same process for uh, these, uh, using these other two points, that is, substitute the x-coordinate uh, for x in our uh, partial formula, and then um, the y-coordinate for y in the partial formula, then we'll get um, two other equations uh, containing the unknowns uh, a, b, and c. And so altogether we'll have three equations uh, containing uh, these unknowns a, b, and c, and that will be our system of equations that we can use to solve for uh, the three coefficients. So here's our second equation. I'm going to calculate f of 1. Of course, that has to come out to be 12. Uh, because the parabola contains this point. Uh, but f of 1, according to our formula, is going to be a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. And now we'll do the same uh, uh, operation, the same process with uh, this third point. I'm going to substitute 4 for x uh, in my uh, quadratic function formula, in my parabola formula. Of course, the matching output has to be 45 if this uh, parabola is indeed going to pass through this point. So we get... Um, a times 4 squared uh, plus uh, b times 4 uh, plus c, uh, that has to be equal to uh, 45. So uh, here are the three equations that we can uh, solve for the three unknowns um, a, b, and c. So this is our system of equations. Now let me simplify this somewhat by um, carrying out a little bit of the arithmetic here. and. Um, uh, rearranging slightly um, the equations. So I get um, a times minus 2 squared. Of course, that's going to be 4 times a. Um, plus b times minus 2 is uh, minus 2b plus c. And that has to be equal to minus 3. So I'm also going to transpose the equation by switching uh, the left and the right-hand sides. Uh, in the second equation, I have a times 1 squared, so that's just a, plus b times 1 is b, and then plus c. Uh, that has to be equal to uh, 12. 
And then in this third equation, I have a times 4 squared, so that's 16a uh, plus 4 times b, of course, is 4b, and then plus c is equal to uh, 45. So here's a simplified version of this same system of equations. And so it's this system of equations that we need to solve for these three unknowns, a, b, and c, uh, to find the coefficients um, for the formula. Uh, for our uh, parabola, that is the coefficients uh, a, b, and c that we would um, uh, uh, substitute into this formula uh, to give us the uh, uh, formula for a parabola that passes through these uh, three points. So we're not actually going to solve this system of equations in this example. We're going to save that for a later example. Uh, I'll show you um, how to use uh, actually software to solve this system of equations. And then uh, we'll actually find uh, uh, exactly what the values are for uh, A, B, and C.